In this video, we're going to go over updating an AE200, AE50, or EW50. The first thing we need is to have the update file and the update tool. In this case, I'm just updating an AE200, so I'm going to find where I downloaded the newer firmware file and open that up. This can be accessed on my link drive. AE50s and EW50s require a different file. You can batch update numerous different central controllers using this tool. You just need to put in the IP address for every one of them and be connected on the network. In this case, I'm direct connected to the panel, so I do not have a whole bunch of other controllers. My IP address is at the default of 192.168.1.1 and now I'm going to acquire data on the panel. As I can see, I've got an AE200, 7.68107 and I'd be updating to 780.107. So now I'm going to hit the update button. You enter the ID and password. And that was the high level access that you should know from attending one of these classes. It will take a while to update the panel. So I'm going to go ahead and stop the video now. But in order to confirm that it's done, you can reconnect the update tool again and it will and acquire the data or once it's finished updating it should reflect back the updated version number.